Last year, when everyone was talking about the Hellcat twins, the Viper guys thought it's time to remind the world that while the Hellcats may own the streets, the Viper owns the road courses. So what they did was they took all of the philosophies and all the techniques that they used on the previous generation ACR and applied them to the fifth generation Viper to see what would happen. We were so confident that by applying all that to the new platform, that this car would be so much better, I kind of went out on a limb. And I said that this would be the fastest street legal Viper track car that we had ever built. It had to be, right? We had applied all the same ACR methodologies to the new platform, and it was a better car. Stiffer chassis, had 45 more horsepower, independent adjustable suspension, massive carbon fiber brakes, and the highest downforce of any aero package ever put on a production car. The idea was to take it out and see if we could beat the previous generation ACR track times. But the intent of this car was to be for a weekend racer, not for a professional race driver. So we put one of our own guys in it. We put our vehicle dynamic engineer, Chris Winkler, behind the wheel and took it to the track. Not only did we beat the previous generation cars time, we beat the lap record for all production cars at that track. So then we went to the next track. Track after track after track. Every track that the car went to set a new production car record. Coming into the SEMA show, SCCA has certified that the 2016 Viper ACR now holds more track records than any production car in the world. Feels pretty good.